Okay, guys, so I'm going to show you guys how to get to your yearbook snap from a desktop in case you aren't able to do it from your phone or in case your audience who you are trying to engage to use yearbook snap can't do it from their phone. Okay, we don't want to give people any excuses. So we're going to start by going to yearbookforever.com. I already have it up there because I go there all the time. It's really easy, you guys. When you get there, you're going to come to this homepage and you're going to search for your home school, which ours is Parkland. Um, there's several Parklands. Make sure you choose Parkland High School in El Paso. Now, this is also where we send people to buy yearbooks and to buy a senior ad or business ad. So make sure that they understand that here at the top above all of that is the community upload link. OK, so if they don't have the app on their phone or if they're having trouble with the app on their phone, this is where they will go to um, get everything turned in. So they'll just click community upload here. You still need an access code. Our access code is all caps, go Mets. All you have to do at this point is upload the photos. And I, they can do this from their phone as well um, if they don't wanna download the app. So this works on a desktop or on a phone. Um, you just click upload the photo, you find the photo, and when everything's done, you put your first name, your last name, your email, you certify that you have the right to distribute these photos. That means you guys can't use professional photos. Um, you really need to use photos that you took. You can't use photos that you stole off the internet. Um, they have to be photos that you have permission to use because you took them. That's what this is for. It's for photos that we took or your parents took or people in the community took specifically to be shared with us. Um, and when you're finished, you submit it. And that is how you use yearbook snap or community upload from a desktop or um, browser window.